In the oil markets today, oil rates have risen sharply over the past yeah. two years, close to record peaks of $78 yeah. a barrel. As a result, the transport industry has been hit hard by the rises, especially in the civil aviation sector. The market was supported by lingering supply concerns and economic growth in the U.S. U.S. crude eased 41 cents to 76.61 dollars. London Brent slipped 36 cents to 75.90 dollars. Oils rallied to within sights of last year's record high of 78.40 dollars, although the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries has rebuffed calls from consumers for more crude. OPEC's second largest producer, Iran, said on Sunday it didn't expect the exporter group yeah. to raise output at its next scheduled meeting on September 11th. And taking a closer look at oil, those who've taken their summer vacations abroad have likely noticed that fuel surcharges on their aeroplane tickets remain high, despite the fact that OPEC insists that there is a sufficient oil supply, petrol prices remain high. With oil prices hovering around $77 per barrel, many are now wondering how much higher the price can go. Despite some analysts forecasting the commodity might reach over $95 per barrel by the end of the year, OPEC is unlikely to increase their production soon from the current level of around 26.5 million barrels per day. The OPEC has been very firmly spent that the market is filled with crude. We don't have any shortage. We, are, we have enough supply. And in fact, if they will add another output, if they will increase the output, then all these outputs will just go into stock. So there's no need for increase of output. So I believe it's not likely. But refinery bottlenecks are continuing to be a problem for the oil producers. And while they are investing in new refineries, these types of projects take time. So we see Saudi Arabia in China in different parts of Asia, in fact, not only in Saudi Arabia, but even in Asia, to address this issue. But grassroots refineries, we have to bear in mind, they take a long time to develop. And though high oil prices also means high purchasing power for oil producers, sustained high prices can actually hurt them. If the price of oil is really high, say above 80, and it sustains to become 80, 90 to 100, then it will impact the demand of the people. What the future will bring for OPEC's members remains to be seen. But it's clear that the planned increase in refineries will eventually help stabilize prices. Usama Saha, Inside Business.